Hola muchachos, hoy es miércoles, el 16 de marzo. Este video es tus instrucciones por el día de hoy. These are your instructions. So, primero, si vas a JT Learn Español 1, and in the calendario para hoy, okay, we have uh, miércoles el 16 de marzo, das click in la ropa, and here you'll see the full schedule for today. So, your diario is the, this video that you're listening to. Okay, so your first activity is un repaso con la ropa parte 1 y colores in Quizlet. So, si das click in Quizlet, okay, it'll take you to el vocabulario con la ropa y los colores. You need to do the actividad learn. Make sure you do the actividad learn. So in the actividad learn with the vocabulario, you need to get 20 de 22 correcto if you want a 10 out of 10. Once you've gotten in the actividad learn, 20 de 22 correcto, saca foto con tu teléfono. Es muy importante. Saca foto con tu teléfono. Once you've done Quizlet, you're going to have to do some vocabulario nuevo. So in la ropa, which you already have in your OneNote, okay, you're going to click on this link to YouTube. And it is la ropa parte dos. These are going to be verbos in el vocabulario. Okay. So here you, we're going to start with compro, ends in the O, so it's I buy. And you work all your way through. And then you also have the verb llevar, okay, which can be like llevas, you wear, or you are wearing. So just go through in your OneNote in Diccionario en la ropa and add in the new vocabulario. And once you've done that, there's a worksheet. The teacher in the room has a copy of the worksheet for you. There will be a link here. And the worksheet is also available in OneNote. So in Espanol, in handouts. Okay, you will see la ropa parte uno y dos. So the first part is uno a diez, escribe el, ver el verbo en inglés. Make sure you include your sujeto, whether it's I, you, he, she, we. And the dos verbos we're working on are comprar y llevar, which was the vocabulario. Okay, then you want to do uno a diez, escribe la forma correcta en español. Again, just doing comprar y, y llevar. And then you have dos más, uno a diez, escribe la frase correcta en inglés, focusing on that verbo, los verbos llevar y comprar, and then lastly our colors and our clothing. And then you, la última es escribe la frase en español. Same thing, you have your llevar y comprar, and then your ropa y los colores. Okay, so that's what you're doing for today. Everything except your dictado is due mañana en jueves. So if you finish everything, then make sure you do the dictado numero 10. Adios.